So now I want to go on to talking about the linear to closed loop idea. The way we tend to use resources is uh, we extract them, we turn them into short life products, and then dispose of them. Nature works very differently. In ecosystems, the waste from one organism becomes the nutrient for something else in that system. And there are some examples of projects that have deliberately uh, tried to mimic ecosystems. And one of my favorite is one of my favorites is uh, called the Cardboard to Caviar Project uh, by Graham Wiles. And uh, in their area, they had quite a lot of shops and restaurants that were producing lots of food, cardboard, and plastic waste that was ending up in landfill. Now, the really clever bit is what they did with the cardboard waste. And I'm just going to talk through this uh, with this animation. So they were paid to collect it from the restaurants. They then shredded the cardboard and sold it to equestrian centers as horse bedding. When that was soiled, they were paid again to collect it. They put it into wormery composting systems, which produced a lot of worms, which they fed to Siberian sturgeon, which produced caviar, which they sold back to the restaurants. So it transformed a linear process into a closed loop model, and it created more value in the process. Graham Wiles has continued to add more and more elements to this, uh, turning waste streams into schemes that create value. And, and just as natural systems tend to increase in diversity and resilience over time, there's a real sense with this project that um, the number of possibilities just continue increasing. And it's, I know it's a quirky example, but I think the, the implications of this are quite radical because it suggests that we could actually transform a big problem, waste, into a massive...